hey beauties welcome back to my channel how you doing how you holding up how are things going are you staying safe are you drinking water that's none of my business but i hope you're doing good so i got a new wig and this wig was calling out to me it's not a new company but it is a new style and a new brand wig it's a synthetic wig and y'all know how they're trying to make these synthetic wigs more and more and more and more like the human hair wigs so you could basically get the same things with a human hair wig that you can now with a synthetic wig and honestly synthetics they don't be looking how they used to be. so this is the wig it is an outre wig it's called perfect hairline and the greatest part about it like it says it has a faux scalp faux scalp and basically i think the faux scalp is like the similarity for synthetic wigs as a human hair silk scalp and it is the danita style dr6 champagne fizz and these wigs are selling out super fast so it is a fully hand tied 13 by 4 lace front wig these are all the same wig but it's basically showing you you could do a little fancy brady style you can do a center part or you can do a side part i think i'm gonna go with the side part because my face is like super square and she has like a little cute little oval face and middle parts just they don't be working for my face shape i think i look weird the back has an adjustable elastic band just like a human hair wig look at them they are coming up it has combs in the back it has baby hairs and it has side lace okay let's open it up mm. it's so pretty when i saw this wig i was like i can hear this wig calling out to me and it was saying coming in coming in coming in and buy me it literally said that to me it said come swipe your card i don't have no money don't matter just swipe it have faith so here is the inside structure of the wig and as you can see it has a whole lot of lace and the lace looks pretty good if you ask me now the one concern that i have of course my expectations aren't too high for the price that it's purchased at and the fact that it's a synthetic wig the band is not adjustable it is just a band so yeah that's that it has the combs side combs i usually cut those out because they pull my hair and then the back comb and then it's it has a little it, it tried to have some baby hairs on the back bottom um i like how they made all this internal match the actual hair and not like dark so that's cute all right and there are the baby hairs all right there so you have its little it has its little baby hairs and everything all around the perimeter so i'm gonna put it on I don't have on a cap because it has like it's faux scalp so I'm not gonna wear a cap with this just to see like how it's looking and everything um, as far as I can tell the knots aren't too bad like you can kind of see them but I think concealer will definitely help it because I've never bleached a synthetic wig so I would not bleach the scalp of this I don't know what's what would happen so I just popped it on my hair but I noticed a couple things before I cut the lace as you can see the baby hairs they're falling forward which I like that that's really cute the color is amazing um it has the texture of like natural kinky like that blowout type texture now what I noticed I'm gonna zoom in and let you guys see is I can see the fake scalp through the hair so you will need a, um, a cap on additionally okay so you guys see that 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 little mark right there that's where the fake scalp starts and then this is like the edge pieces for the lace so my fix it for that is just to wear a cap and then if it's still not looking right i'll put on a cap just to show you guys but if it's still not looking right i suggest 
if it's still not looking right you can actually cut it out I was looking to see if it can separate it would be a delicate process but it does separate from the actual lace part so go for it sis whatever you want to do I'm gonna just put on a cap and then I'm gonna see if it's a difference so I'll be back so I'm just going to show y'all the process of how I glue on my wigs I did this a long time ago might as well do it again for those who haven't seen it we're gonna persist nevertheless some people say it's easier to do this with stockings I don't have any stockings. Cut my ear holes out. Yeet. And the reason why I cut the ear holes out like this is so I can get those edge parts right there attached. I forgot to put on some of my scalp protectant. I am going to use alcohol just to clean off my forehead so it'll stick. And then put on your skin protectant. I got my skin protectant from the beauty diagram. Now we are ready. So I'm using the olive oil super hold spray. And just spray that down. I like to do mine's in section, the top and then the sides so that I can actually hold the sides down without trying to hold two sides at the same time with a blow dryer. But you want to make sure this is all as dry as possible. I'm going to let this air dry just for a little while just to make sure it's nice and crispy while I go get a snacky snack. So now that that's dry and it's all like crusty as you can tell, I just cut it initially with scissors and then I take the rest off with the razor. And I'll give y'all a little secret. So you know how it's like frayed on the edges and you always wonder how hairstylists make it look almost flawless, like seamlessly on your scalp? Respray it. Just respray it and hold it down. And as you can see, it makes it a little more seamless around the edges. So once that's completely dry, I use a liquid foundation. I put it in my brush and then I'm just going to go over my head like so making that all the same color but after i put the foundation on the cap what i did was i kind of went through the scalp a little bit i tried to put makeup on that edge just so it can blend in a little easier for my glue i am using it works well for me but if you have any suggestions for really good glue let me know so i can like try different things and just like how I dry it, I go in sections. I will do the top, then I will do the sides. You want it on when it's tacky, but not when it's like still white or still really wet. So line up your edges, edge to edge, and then make sure the baby hairs are not in the way. And once you pop that part on, dry it. Okay, figure out which way I'm gonna make this swish. Honestly, it doesn't really seem like it's shedding at all. I mean, it's cute. I like it. So what I did with the with the makeup and with the cap it actually made it a little bit better what do y'all think this was like as good as it gets with this synthetic one it's not too bad so again this wig is the outre perfect hairline wig um the detail for the colors will be in the description box below 
um let me know what y'all think like would y'all buy this wig it came in other colors so yeah if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video just keep scrolling keep scrolling if you want to see more videos like this you know what to do subscribe 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 and i will keep the videos coming as long as you guys are interested so let me know what you think let me know how you like it let me know if you're about to buy it and let me know what color you're gonna buy it in but thank you guys so much for watching bye